Maple Leafs hosting the Blackhawks, and the Leafs are minus 450 on the money line. The Blackhawks are plus 360. The over-under is 6.5 goals. The Blackhawks getting a goal and a half are plus 150, and the Leafs laying a goal and a half are minus 165. The Blackhawks have lost the last two games that they played. The Leafs lost the last game that they played. Now, before you bet on this game, go to a site like VegasInsider.com. It'll allow you to compare all the casino's pricings in one place, because right now it's showing that the lowest line you could find for the Leafs is minus 450, but a bunch of them are up over 500 right now. So for this game, you'll probably have to shop around. Now, head-to-head, -head, the Leafs are on a two-game winning streak. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorite has won the last two games. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. However, the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is a perfect 10-0. and 0. There have been nine one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including the last two games they played against each other. The over is 7-3 and three in their last 10, and the over 6.5 is 7-3. and three. The road team is 6-4. and four. And I say this every time the Blackhawks or the Coyotes play and they are ridiculously heavy underdogs like they are today, you may want to consider taking them just for the sheer fact of how much of an underdog they are and you're getting positive money getting goals, which is a rarity. Now, I do think Toronto wins this game. I'm going to take Toronto with the money line, and I understand there's no value. I just think they're going to win the game. I will take Chicago getting the goals, and I'm going to go over in this game. Now, in their last handful of games in general are against each other. Toronto's won 5-4, 3-2 in overtime. Then the Blackhawks won 6-2. The Blackhawks won 5-4, and the Blackhawks won 5-4. In their last handful of games overall, three out of the last four games for the Blackhawks have gone under. We've had four goals, five goals, seven goals, and five goals, and the Blackhawks have only scored two-plus goals twice, while the Maple Leafs, uh, two out of their last three have gone over. We've had seven goals, three goals, seven goals, and six goals, and the Maple Leafs have scored two-plus goals tw uh, three times. Those are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.